As I was walking down the trail today, I was looking around and my eyes came upon these pine trees here. Getting down close, I am, I'm looking at these and I see a pine cone and I'm looking down here and here are these little pine seedlings. They have a bare stalk and they have this big, big cluster of needles at the top. And these guys, right now the sun is just hitting them full power. Now one thing I know about ponderosa pine is that ponderosa pine is a sun lover. It has to have lots and lots of sunlight every day in order to grow. So I'm looking around here, I see the ground. It's just covered with these seedlings. This is not uncommon. Every seven, 10, 15 years, ponderosa pine, for some reason, will drop, develop and drop hundreds and thousands of cones that will just coat the nature with cones and as those cones open up these seeds drop out and many of them germinate. I see probably a hundred of these little seedlings. They're in their second year of growth and I let my eye come up in front of me and I see all of these. These are a little bit bigger ponderosa pines. These are what classify as saplings. And it's kind of like a puppy that is all legs and is kind of having a hard time moving around. Well, that's kind of what these guys here, they're always reaching for access to direct sunlight. And so their growth goes into getting their needles as high in the air as they can so that they can have that sunlight strike them directly. So if these guys are two, the little ones are two years old, so I'm gonna add two, I'm gonna add another year just for good measure, and I'm gonna look at the spaces between the branch bunches where they come out. So I have, I've got three, four, five, six, 15, 16, 17, these guys are 17 years old. All that 17 years has gone to getting above everything around them and claiming their place in the sun. And in this little patch, I certainly don't see hundreds of these saplings. I notice this all over the place. And it makes me wonder why, as they get bigger, there are fewer of them. And I think I'm beginning to understand it's because some of them are better at getting up to the, getting up to the sun than others. And the ones that are, get left in the shade don't get to continue uh, growing. And then finally, I look up into the canopy and I see this huge ponderosa pine tree going up and at the top of it where most almost all the needles are they're just glowing in the sunlight they have nobody blocking their access to the sun using that sunlight to create the food that they need to survive and flourish and I look down the trail and I see there's big spaces between these trees. So every one of these big trees here started off as one of these many, many little seedlings and found a way to compete with other saplings as they grew to be the tree that really, out of 
all of this process, it was able to get its crown into the sky and meet the sun for long hours every day. Life cycle of the ponderosa pine within feet of a trail. Another one of those wonders that you will find as you walk through nature.